Hi team, um, quick update on this beautiful sunny Sunday. Um, I just wanted to fill you in with what is going on. Uh, obviously I've been busy with Christmas and with New Year and my birthday was yesterday, so um, sorry there was no update on my birthday. Um, but yeah, the weather has really um, been fantastic over these holidays. So. Um, the farm is looking absolutely amazing and um, I couldn't be happier with it actually. Um, and the horses are doing similar, they just, their coats just look absolutely beautiful. So it was a pleasure being able to go to see the yearlings um, on parade yesterday at Blanford Lodge, um, their book one and their book two. And um, I really enjoyed seeing their draft, it was, the draft, our draft looks amazing. So I'm um, very, very um, proud of them. Um, the horses look incredible. So, yeah, that was great. We were actually showing for a Japanese client and um, I think the atmosphere was amazing and he was very happy with the look of the horses. So, uh, there's obviously some really standouts there and um, I would love to be able to to buy them all, but it's not, po it's not possible. Um, and I really don't think I'll be able to find another Gracie or another Dance 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 with $5,000 anymore. So, um, <laughs> That would be nice. Um, but anyway, um, you never know. You never know. Uh, so Bella, um, Emma La Vita, she is doing really well. I think I took a picture of her new cover for you. She loves her new cover. She looks great. Um, she's very, very happy. Um, she's such a lovely filly to deal with. So quiet and lovely and good natured. So um, she's doing very well. And she'll stay in the paddock for a little while longer. Uh, the same with um, Starlight Express, Sasha. Um, Sasha's a different kettle of fish, as I've said. She's quite bolshy and she's in your face. And, but she's with my 20-year-old broodmare and um, she's, um, she's enjoying herself. With, they really love each other. So, um, no, that she's great, doing really well. And, uh, again, she'll probably be in the, in the, in the paddock for just as long as Amala Vita will. Um, uh, Ruby Amani... Uh, working out when she will come back into work um, with um, Jamie from Blanf Blanford Lodge. She'll, he will drop her over um, probably tomorrow, uh, Monday, um, but I will confirm that and we'll let you know obviously when she arrives and, um, and we'll get her back into work uh, for the upcoming autumn prep. Hot and High Heels races on Wednesday. Good luck team. She's apparently looking fantastic. Um, Dropped a lot of weight, and um, I see uh, yesterday the track was rated a dead five. So um, not sure what 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 will be rated on Wednesday, but um, probably definitely no worse than that. Um, Sixteen hundred meters, so it's a, it's a step up, and um, um, I will be there tomorrow on Wednesday afternoon. Um, so looking forward to seeing her progress, um, and that's the most important thing. She's been out for such a long time. Um, and just getting her fitness level up and seeing her still run and do well and and um, have no problem or issue with that tendon which is, is really good for us um we have um los angeles who came back slowly into work on wednesday of last week um just because she was getting a little pushy and um i didn't want her to get too heavy so um She's come back into light work, um, and I'll just get her going along slowly, which will, will, will do her great. She's, work, she's worked out of the paddock, um, and so we'll just do that for a little bit longer, and, um, and yeah, she'll, she'll, she'll move along quite well, and, get, and she'll be ready for, for autumn. Um, but she looks amazing. She really has muscled up really well, and um, she's just huge. She's just massive, and, you know, she's, she handles everything extraordinarily well, so she, I'm, you know it's easy with her so very excited about her I think I think her four-year-old autumn prep will be will be super um, very exciting um, dance 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 um, her plans are um, she's going we did sit down with Chris and Michelle um, on Friday um, and we talked it over we had our schedules and we had the plans and we had thoughts and ideas and we we, we, we hashed them out and um, all going well after the Herbie Dyke on, on February the 9th. We're planning to go to the Ranvit um, Stakes. Um, and typically that's a, a eight, nine, ten horse field. 
So it's a, it's a small field, um, it is a group one, and um, it's over 2,000 metres. So after the herby diet, she'll be coming back to Coniston Lodge and we'll, we'll, we'll do the same sort of thing with her as we did um, just before the Captain Cook. Um, keep her fresh and happy and, um, you know, all going well. Um, we'll be over for the ran Ranbit and getting Opie back on board um, for that race. And um, as I said, it's typically it's, it's a small field, which I think, I think will do her better than going into something that um, is an 18 horse field and and more like a stock car race than a than an actual um, race that she would enjoy and she would prefer. Uh, then heading forward, moving forward, she will be aimed at the Queen Elizabeth. Um, and yes, we'll be going up against the mighty Winks, but I don't think that there'll be a race if there wasn't, if everybody was scared of Winks. Um, and, um, there's no reason to be, she's, um, even if you get second to Winks or run well to Winks, I think it's, it's just a huge feather in the cap, you know, to be able to get into a field with Winks is, 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 is amazing. Um, yeah, there's nothing better than that, I don't think, to be able to run against the best in the world. Um, so that, that's really, um, all for the racehorses. Um, as I said, I went over to Blandford for the yearlings and of course I have my gorgeous yearlings here. Um, and again, thank you for all over the Christmas period who have taken shares in, in, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the yearlings. Um, I still have some percentages available in the um, Jimmy Choo filly out of Uzo. And that's the same family as Zalate. And Zalate is a three-time winner for Chris Waller, so she hasn't lost yet, so um, she's actually, I think she's at 15 to, ones, 15 to 1 for the um, Australian Oaks, so very exciting uh, family, and uh, Uzo's Zalate's half-sister, so um, exciting pedigree, and, um, and then we have the um, Ocean Park Colt, which he's just looking absolutely amazing, I'm very happy with him, um, big strong Colt, and um, of course, the ocean parks are doing extremely well. Uh, they just keep winning right now. So it's just taking that extra time with that severe blood um, to get them going. But you've got Ocean X in Australia and you've got some really, really good ones that are, are showing up now. And I think specifically will show up through autumn. So um, uh, the contributor filly, well, uh, only a few shares left there. Um, She's, again, well bred through it. Savabille Mayor and contributors by High Chaparral. So um, I just think that um, I've got three lovely, I've got three lovely types there and I can't, can't choose one over the other. So um, um, if you're interested, let me know. If you have anybody else who's interested, let me know. There's all types and all varieties by and least, least shares available and um, at, at very minimal cost. There's no add-ons, as you know with me, um, um, only what it's cost me after January the 1st. So um, get in touch with me if you're interested. Other than that, that's Backs on Track and have a lovely, have a lovely week.